to make the Jackson Pollock inspired background for our one point perspective project, we're going to start with a black paper and write our name on the back with a white pencil so that we can see it. And then flip it over, put it on top of a placemat, and we're going to paint this very similar to how Jackson Pollock did his splatter paintings. So we want to make sure we have a placemat so we have a little bit less to clean up on the table. And this is going to be really fun, but we want to make sure we do it with control. So I've got my neon colors here. I've got yellow, pink, orange, blue, and green. And I'm going to take my brush, get it a little bit wet in the water, wipe it, and pick my first color. And normally we just dip the color so we don't get too much, but this time you want to kind of scoop it. So pick whichever one you want to start with. I'm going to start with yellow, and I'm going to scoop some of the yellow into my brush like this. And you're only ever flicking your brush downward, so you never want to go up. So I'm just going to go like this. Flick down, and it'll make a little splat. Down. And when I've kind of run out, I can get a little bit more of that color. And I'm just flicking some splats of paint onto my paper. And you might want to occasionally rotate your paper so that they're kind of going in different directions. So maybe I turn it this way. I'm going to wash my brush in the water and get my second color. So my brush is clean. I'm going to get some of the pink scoop some of it up into my brush, and splat. So much fun. It feels like you're doing something you shouldn't be. Okay, and then I'm just going to keep repeating this with my other colors. And you want to make sure you get some around the, the edges by the border because a lot of the middle will get covered up by our One Point Perspective project. So fun. All right, so now I just have blue and green left. Rotate it again, so maybe I get it in another direction here. And on my last color, I'm kind of looking if there's big areas of black or if I could add a little bit more toward the edges where we'll have the most black showing through. Okay, and when I'm done, I'm going to put my brush into my water cup and I'm just going to pan out a little bit so you can see I did that very controlled. I didn't make a huge mess. So see there's just a little bit on the table so it's easy to wipe up. So you want to do this with control so that cleanup is not going to take as long. 